Our daily devotionals continue with Proverbs chapter 29. This is the second of two devotionals for today. Now, our title, I would rather sing like a canary than be a silent Judas. Proverbs chapter 29 is the focus of our study. Now, I do want to invite you to look, consider with me Proverbs 29 and verse 24. I do want to also invite you again to subscribe to heartofashepherd.com. There you'll have amplifications of word meanings that will help you understand our text. Well, Proverbs 29 verse 24 serves as a reminder that when it comes to sin, one's failure to be a tattletale, informer, snitch, or a rat is not a matter of neutrality, but may afford sinners aid and comfort in their sins. Let's consider what Solomon taught his son, Proverbs 29 and verse 24. Whoso is partner with a thief hateth his own soul. He heareth cursing and bewrayeth it not. Now, let's take a look at that again. Whoso is a partner or a partner, somebody that maybe would divide the spoils with a thief. Well, it says that he hates his own soul. Literally, he's the enemy, or he detests his own soul, his own being. He heareth cursing, and bewrayeth it not. Now, there's a couplet here, um, a format in which you find out throughout the Proverbs, and you find two interesting illustrations in this verse, chapter 29 to verse 24. The first would be, you're liable for what you know. Now consider then the first half, the first couplet of verse 24. Now again, it is addressing personal liability. Whoso is partnered with a thief hateth his own soul. Well, to be a thief is obviously a violation of the commandment Thou shalt not steal, Exodus 20 and verse 15. The same is true should you partner with a thief and divide with him the spoils. However, what if our partnership with a thief is our silence? In other words, we observe a thief still, but we do not intervene or, if questioned, even conceal the theft by our silence. Solomon warned, in effect, you detest or you harm your own soul. And then the second thought in this uh, couplet is the second half, and it reads uh, simply this lesson. You are liable not only for what you know, but number two, you're liable for what you hear. Now, the second lesson in a personal liability concerns hearing someone curse, but failing to correct or rebuke them. I would suggest it is the third commandment that is the focus here, in which we read Exodus 20 and verse 6, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, is the latter example when we read, He heareth cursing and berayeth it. Now, to beray is to tell or to bring it to the attention of another. Thus, to berayeth it not is to hear someone curse, but be silent or fail to correct or inform another. Well, a closing thought. Tattletale is a taunting label. Children give peers who expose them and their sins to responsible authorities, such as a father, mother, maybe a teacher or a principal, or even a pastor. Now, while we are silent regarding sin, it may earn the unquestion or the questionable friendship of a thief, a beguiler, but you do so at sacrificing your integrity and soul. I would invite you to allow me to uh, the liberty of a broader application. You know, you and I live in volatile times, and many biblically sound institutions are tragically adrift from their founders' sacred principles and convictions. I have witnessed churches, schools, Bible colleges, and even universities steered from their conservative biblical legacies by, per, quote, progressive pastors and administrators while their staff, faculty, and church members remained silent. Now, 
Are you then a pew sitter perhaps in your church, but you're guilty of being numbered with the silent ones who have tacitly, that is unspoken, partnered with leaders who plot a subtle departure from the course and principles of your church, your school, your Bible college, your university? Have you watched and listened silently as the founding character of your institution's past and legacy were cursed and besmirched? Well, here's a warning for you. You, by your silence, share the sins of your leaders. By bereath the sacred trust of those who went before you, you criticize some, maybe who would even dare to be the ones to speak. And I would suggest to you that I would rather sing like a canary in a coal mine, warning others of danger, than to be a silent Judas. May you and I sing it out when we see the sins and the failings of others, rather than be silent and be a participant, even by our silence, in their sins. Thank you for being a part of yet another daily devotional from Heart of a Shepherd. Bye-bye.